Hello, and welcome to a Dipuwu video entitled welcome How to Win by Losing. What's going to happen is I'm going to lose my jungle so terribly and so horribly that this video is a complete embarrassment to myself. We're going to speed it up for a second just so you can see how awful and atrocious it is. 30 seconds until minions spawn. Okay, so here's Shaco getting ready to invade. I would have Pandora playing. Unfortunately, it does not want to play. So that sucks. Anyway, as you can tell, Shaco is doing a very elaborate invasion on me right here. Um, and I have a very awkward start because Aurelia is right there and I don't want to finish this. And she keeps coming back in and I'm like, oh crap, now I'm at low health. And so now that's fine, but if she would help here, that would be great. But now I'm at really low health. And so you always want to help your Nunu a little bit. Um, help whatever jungler you have. Just because it sucks if you don't help. There's Shaco's first blood. There's Caitlyn killing MF. And there's second blood. So Tarek got that one. Here I am taking the uh, red buff, which is pretty easy. I already got the big wraith. But, oh, here comes another kill right here. And that's a death. But it's okay, because I'm going to get the red buff. Oh, wait, no. So there's Veil number one. It's three minutes in here. We're going at super fast speed. There's Rengar up there, being all Rengar-ish. And that's, that's the lane I want to hit, because that's the lane I can hit. Um, MF and Tarek is a little bit hard to hit, especially with the wards and all that. Here comes Shaco again. So Shaco is trying to uh, hit mid lane here. So we're three minutes in, four minutes in. Shaco didn't hit mid lane, he just goes right up here. Meanwhile, Aurelia is still going crazy on Rengar because Aurelia can go crazy on Rengar like that. I'm talking really fast, that's cool, huh? Okay, there's Shaco, killing stuff, killing stuff, killing stuff. Look at him kill that red buff. He does it a lot easier than I do, which is ironic because I'm Nunu and he's Shaco. And my, you know, what I was, was intending to do is take all his jungle so he had nothing left to farm. But that didn't work out so good. So there's Shaco getting ready to gang top, but unfortunately I'm ganking top too. Oh wait, no, he's just doing these creeps here. So I decide I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this guy. But, nope, there's Shaco. I flash out of there just because I'm all skittish. So back into the jungle I go very rapidly. Twice as fast as normal, in fact. So there's Orion and Lux looking all pretty full there in the mid. And she's shooting out light stuff and Orianna shooting out balls. And there's Nunu doing some invasion because I'm fancy like that. Because I'm, I'm way ahead of Shaco now. I'm way ahead. Um, now actually we are solid 1.5k behind. But this Caitlyn is... is uh, she has crit runes. And so her entire build is crit. Just so you know, her entire build crit. Oh, she has crit runes. I, I don't. You can't do crit masteries anymore. But there comes another gank on bottom. So far, I've gotten in zero successful ganks, and they've gotten in uh, three kills in the ganks. There's Oriana almost killing Lux right there. I think I tried a gank there, maybe. Um, it didn't work out so good. There's Shaco definitely diving as I knew he would. Meanwhile, Shaco is screwing around there, and knew he was going to hit Rengar because Rengar is way overextended. But watch this, watch this pro stuff right here. See there, there's Rengar, and there I am not dead. I am not dead. But Shaco's all like, I wanna, I wanna kill Nunu. I just got his blue buff, now I wanna kill him. I knew he was coming. I should have told Aureli, but I didn't. But Aureli almost gets him, but that stupid little thing there. Lux decides to come up, but nope. And so he didn't finish off the uh, blue buff just because he knew he could get an easy Nunu kill, but he didn't get an easy Nunu kill. So now Nunu has Boots of Mobility and a Philo Stone. Which is way, 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 way better than uh, Shaco's boots and... Um, okay, he's still going back. Way better than Shaco's lantern and boots. Because I have mobility and a philo stone, which means I'm getting a lot more gold than he is. Even though he's probably ahead of me right now, he has 2200. I have 2000. So that's because of my gold master masteries and runes. Like, he's just barely ahead of me, even though he has uh, 102 and I'm just uh, 011. Um... So he's, he's doing slightly better than me, and that's it. He can farm kind of fast now because he has a Riggles, and he can sustain himself pretty decently because he has Riggles. But uh, that's really about it. Here Shaco's getting ready for a gank down there. Here he comes, here he comes. But they know he's coming because, duh. They probably saw him and stuff. And so here I am going on uh, Oriana, but we're not going to get her because she's a creepy little 
Yeah, she runs away, and then there comes Shaco, and... Nope, no good, no good. So, there's Shaco taking my stuff, because why wouldn't he take my stuff? Because he's freaking Shaco. Now he's gonna wait here and be like, oh, there's Nunu. So Nunu wastes his flash again to get away from Shaco. And Nunu takes a little extra damage, but I got the 25 gold, so I'm okay with that. So now I'm going to take my wolves because that is one thing Shaco can't take from me. Now Shaco takes my red buff again. He decides he's going to take my double golems too. And so there he comes for another gank on bottom lane. Meanwhile, how many gank ganks have I gotten off so far? Um, three. Three, and he's gotten, I don't know, four or five. He's beating the crap out of me. Meanwhile, I'm taking his red again, and this time it's going to be for real. I'm going to actually frickin' take it. Possibly. 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 Oh man, that was close. Awkward. So... Now they're getting, for, they're getting a dragon. I believe they've already gotten... No, they haven't gotten one dragon yet. That's their first dragon. So there's a dragon down. I don't have any dragon control whatsoever because I'm a noob. And so, okay, I've got two gold pretends now. And what, what's Shaco's gold now? Shaco has 2,900. Uh, Nunu has 2,800. So Nunu's staying right on track with him. But unfortunately, the gold divide is getting slightly bigger. They have uh, 2k more than us now. Here comes an Oriana kill that I am going to get for sure. There we go. So that helps me a little bit. There comes Shaco, though. He's going to try and gank something. Then he decides, I don't want to. I'm Shaco. Meanwhile, Aureli and Rengar are going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And uh, Sona's down here running around really fast because it's two times speed. Nunu sees Aurelia going in, and Nunu's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help, but then he's way too late because he's a noob. So Nunu walks away. He gets, he gets, He's standing there in the ward, and, and Rengar's like, I see you, bro. I see you. So Nunu leaves. Meanwhile... Sona's getting her ass kicked down here because she's Sona and Sona's weak and has no HP and stuff. But it's okay because Caitlyn, Caitlyn is crit master Caitlyn. Look at all this crit she has. She has a cloak of agility and brawler's gloves. That's all you need, baby. That's all you need. So Caitlyn's standing there all stunned and such. Meanwhile, Nunu's taking his wolves because that's what Nunu's do. They take their wolves. Shaco there, he's, uh, he's, he's walking around, walking around. Gonna take his take his uh, wraith, which I haven't stolen recently. I'm gonna take my wraith, which he hasn't stolen recently. I'm just gonna take comfort in the fact that I'm more useful late game than Shaco, which is ironic because Nunu is not very useful late game at all. But if you've got a crit, Caitlyn, you're pretty useful. If you've got the longest normal range champion in the game, well, Tristana, I guess, is stronger, and she has crit runes, um, that's good. And so Nunu's chasing and stuff. Nunu's like, I'm getting out of there, cause cause who knows who's coming. So meanwhile, all of bottom lane decides we're going to attack Lux, and, and attack her they do. But it's okay, because Lux gets a kill. So Nunu decides he's going to go in there and get a kill too. So boom, that's two for two. Two for two in a four-man gank on Lux. Could have ended worse. Could have ended a lot worse. So meanwhile, Caitlyn gets a free tower there. Aurelia, meanwhile, still going back and forth, back and forth with the uh, Rengar there, who's really not that great late game. Because... He kind of has to just get the get the bone tooth necklace going to uh, to win late game, but he really he doesn't really have any trophies right now, does he? Yeah, he doesn't have any trophies, and so Rengar's really not as useful as a jungle Rengar. Like this is one this is one example when uh, a champion is better as a jungle than as a top lane. Even if he does fine top lane, which he is doing fine top lane, he would do better as a jungler because he would get those kills and assists for the for the bone tooth necklace. But without the Bone Tooth Necklace, he's not that strong. He's just a, a tanky Shaco. And, I, like, honestly, that's about all he is. He has the, uh, the, the, uh, Invisible Inn, and that's about it. But he's not ever going to use it if he's just sitting top lane. So there's another bad Nunu ulti. There's another great Orianna ulti. And there's another terrible team fight that ends up going in our favor. So, yeah... Anyway, I'm going to start slowing it down here because it is getting a little bit better. Caitlyn is in trouble. Caitlyn's running away. Caitlyn dies. There we go for MF, but I'm not going to fight her. And and everyone's so freaking low. And now, um, but look at this. We are caught up in gold. That's the interesting thing. We're caught up in gold. And I am, in fact, for the first time, 600 gold ahead of Shaco. 600 gold, folks. He is 202 and I am 123. So we've both been involved in the same amount of kills. Only I have fed the lizard slightly more than he has. But because I have, in effect, three gold per ten items because of my runes, I have been collecting on all those. I have 300 from this one, I have 200 from this one, and that's 500, and I'm 600 ahead. And so, yeah, 
without the gold pretends, any of the gold pretends, I would be slightly behind him because of my, yeah. Because of my runes and everything. Without it, I would be slightly behind him. But the gold pretend has, has kept me in the game. Completely kept me in the game. So now I'm getting getting the Glacial Shroud to Frozen Heart because I know MF is going to be the biggest danger. Because she is 2-1-2. Um, I can always shut down Orianna fairly quickly. And she is not building heavy AP. She's going Ath Athene's on Holy Grail first. And so I realize she's not a big deal. And so MF is the only problem on the enemy team. Rengar is kind of a problem if he gets fed. But it's easy enough to make sure he doesn't get fed because... I don't know. They have double stealth on their team, and that's kind of lame. You just need an oracle, and you got it. So there's Rengar using all his stacks and stuff. So now we know the dragon's going on, but we're not going to get it because we're noobs. So they have that whole uh, that whole um, purple ward there, pink ward, whatever you call it. And so they totally know that Lux is there, and we're all going to get caught out because we're noobs. But anyway, I'm telling Aurelia, get your butt down here now because they're going to do stuff. But uh, maybe I didn't tell her that at this time. I should have, though. But there goes Lux getting caught out again because Lux. You know, this Lux is actually a really good player. But I just like to trash talk Luxes because they're Luxes. But anyway, now we're all getting real low. And I'm in trouble. And Lux is in trouble. And there's no way in hell we can possibly fight. There's Shaco. Suddenly Shaco. It's like suddenly salad, only it doesn't taste as good. But it's okay, Lux got Shaco. They haven't gotten the dragon yet, unfortunately, so... Fortunately, Caitlyn's gonna almost take a hit here. We're all so freaking low. There's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing we can do. So yeah, there goes Caitlyn. Um, Rengar got her somehow. He used Rengar magic. Bone Tooth Necklace, going, going pretty good now. He has a stack. Maybe two stacks. Three stacks. So look at that. That means he has... Um, I don't know what he get, gets. Let's see. Um, He has... 10 armor penetration and 5% cooldown reduction, which will matter a lot when he's taking down this dragon. Notice how he's getting all these stacks of uh, whatever it's called, Fury. That's because of the 10 armor pen. And so they are still quite in the lead. They're 3k ahead. They've got two dragons on us. Uh, we have, uh, they have... They have the mid tower, which is more useful than the bottom tower. Anyway, now we're going to go back to fast speed until things happen. Meanwhile, Aurelia gets the Wit's End, which is a good Aurelia item. Uh, thankfully, she did not rush Trinity Force. If she had, we'd probably lose this game. Because uh, Trinity Force rush in a losing game is a terrible idea. Trinity Force rush in a winning game is a great idea. But if you start to lose, it hurts, because then you're not tanky. And look at Shaco. He has rushed a... Well, he's not rushed it yet, but he's getting there. If it takes more than 20 minutes to get your Trinity Force, it's a bad idea to get Trinity Force. That's all there is to it. And while he's rushing that, that non-tanky item... I'm rushing if I've got a frozen heart already. Like his wriggles, not that useful for damage, not that useful for tank. Meanwhile, Rengar gets uh, another kill up there. Anyway, frozen heart is much more team-wise useful than wriggles is for because Shaco, you know, his wriggles gives him more more clear speed and stuff, and a little bit more damage and a little bit more tank, but but nothing substantial enough to count. You know, he, he can't he can't tank for his team, so they gotta they gotta count on Rengar and Tarek to tank for the team. And unfortunately, Rengar is also building all squishy DPS. So there, that, I altered there because I wanted to get the tower. I should slow down, huh? So now we're going to slow down a little bit. There we got a Rengar. We got a Rengar. And Caitlyn is, I think, at 70% 70, 70 uh, crit right now. Not, maybe not quite that much, but she's pretty high. No, she's not 70 yet. But she has Infinity Edge and the Brawler Gloves. So meanwhile, uh, MF is pushing pretty hard down here. That's a problem. But we're getting this tower up here. And MF is backing off for some unknown reason. She should probably keep pushing there, but we are three men pushing top, and nobody's doing anything about it, because Shaco has no counter-push pressure. Shaco in and of himself is a crappy champion. If he catches you off guard, he's incredibly useful. If he is just standing there in a, in a lane, he has no power whatsoever to stop you from pushing. Whereas Nunu and MF, or I'm sorry, Nunu and Caitlyn and, uh, and... And Sona are really strong pushers, really strong pokers. And so we managed to get two two uh, two towers for, I think, one kill, maybe two kills down here. And so, yeah, Irelia died so that we could get two towers, basically. And so now we're still about 2k behind. I'm still losing the jungle hardcore. I, you know, I've, I've hardly been able to secure any buffs. I got one blue buff for Lux, one blue buff for me. And I don't think I've gotten a single red buff for myself yet, except for the one I stole from him. Meanwhile, he's finishing off... Oh, he's giving it to Kaylin. 
And I don't. I told my team do not finish off the red buff because I do not want Shaco to keep taking it. And so I, I let it stay um, almost taken for a while. I don't know if it's finished off now or not. Anyway, uh, they're still significantly ahead of us. Well, not significantly. I guess it's slightly at this point. 2k in the first 10 minutes is significant. Where You know, they had 2k in the first 10 minutes. 2k in uh, 25 minutes in is insignificant. 2k 25 minutes in where you've got a Shaco is actually you're losing. Because Shaco is not as useful as most other champions with the same amount of gold. And in fact, Nunu has 6,800, Shaco has 1,600, so he is actually keeping up because of dragons and kills and stuff. But I, I am not doing anything useful. I am just sitting there um, Wing Caitlyn, and that's it, and getting caught out by MF and Orianna. So meanwhile, they chase me, but down here, they kill Rengar, and Rengar loses stacks. And uh, so yeah, I'm just kind of wandering around, derping around, uh, being Nunu, getting caught out and stuff. So Orianna thinks she can take this now. Nunu says, I think not, sir. And so she really thinks she can kill me here, but unfortunately Orianna cannot kill Nunu in any world, except in a world where Orianna is really fed and Nunu sucks. Which is, you know, maybe 50% of worlds in which Orianna and Nunu exist at the same time. Anyway, this blue buff taking is awkward because we're like, oh, I don't know if I wanted to, oh, is Lux going to try and take it? Maybe not, maybe yes, maybe not. Looks like I'm going back, I'm going back. Oh, there's someone talking to me on Facebook. It's not you, it's me. Haha. <laughs> anyway. There's Aurelia taking my wraiths because everyone wants to take my wraiths this game. Except Nunu. Nunu never gets to take his own wraiths. I'm still talking way too fast, aren't I? It's okay. It's because it's tired and I'm hyper. So now Caitlyn definitely has 70% um, crit. And so... It's 27 minutes and let's speed stuff up again. It's still not entirely clear who's winning. They have more gold than us. More gold than we do. Uh, it would be the correct grammar. Anyway, they are picking for Dragon. And you know what? We're just going to let him get it because we're noobs. Uh, we win by losing. My goal at this point is follow Caitlyn around. Look there, I warded the perfect time. And yes, they are getting Dragon. And yes, uh, they got the Dragon in about one second. So... Yeah, I saw the dragon get, and I was like, holy cow, can we really compete against that? The speed at which they do it? And then I was like, yes. So there's that team fight. Lux gets shut, you know, Lux doesn't get shut down, but here, yeah, we just kind of kill their entire team, because they think they're better than us. Now for the first time, we are starting to, we are at you know, less than 1k difference for the first time since Shaco got that t the two kills early. So look at that, Caitlyn, just beast that tower. She has 1.8 attack speed and 70% crit. Do you think she can't beast anything? Is there anything she cannot, like, destroy in, like, two seconds flat? No. Nothing on the enemy team is, is able to endure Caitlyn. That's the beautiful thing about it. And so now they're pinging Baron. They're pinging Baron because uh, we just went back, and it would be a smart idea to get Baron right now. You know what? We win by losing, we're going to let him get it. Go ahead, guys. Take your Baron. It'll be fun. It'll be really fun. And, and while you're getting Baron, be sure to, to uh, make sure Tarek pops an Oracle and decides to derp around hunting for wards while you're getting Baron. Because that would be useful. So, so MF is like, it's like, it's like we, need, we need to get Baron. We need to get Baron. Tarek's like, no, la, la, I'm hunting wards. No, ha, 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 ha. Shaco says, we need to get Baron. Tarek says, I'm going to get caught instead. And Tarek gets caught. Tarek dies, but it's okay because I got Baron. They're going to win now. But unfortunately, we still have more gold than them, even though they just took a freaking Baron. So now we decide we're going to attack them because you always want to attack the team that has a Baron, right? Because this is this is the game of, of why you should do things that you should never do. And so, yeah, we're tower diving the people with Baron. Uh, we are base diving the people with Baron. No prob, no prob. Yeah. And so, yeah, uh, we, we killed uh, two of them, solidly, while, while they had Baron. And so we're going to be like, let's go back and buy stuff now. So Nunu right now noticed that Nunu has a Zeke's Herald and a Frozen Heart. That is the anti-MF item. MF is the only one that fed on the enemy team. anti Shaco item, in case Shaco decides he's going to do anything useful. anti Rengar item, in case Rengar decides he's going to, you know, auto-attack and stuff. 
and it's a it's a completely Caitlyn oriented build, and so Caitlyn who has like ridiculous amounts of crit is like, hey, I like this a lot, and so she gets 250% crit uh, damage because of Infinity Edge, and she has like 70% chance to crit, maybe more. So she's gonna shred everything. She doesn't need Last Whisper. She doesn't need anything. She has Guardian Angel. It's it's over. So we just need one more good solid fight, and we're gonna beast mode him. So, but it's okay. They still have Baron, so technically it's a bad idea for us to fight them. And they're like, let's go get Dragon because we haven't gotten every single Dragon so far. Oh wait, yeah, this will be Dragon number four, maybe Dragon number five. I've lost count. And so they're getting another another let's useful thing. Dragon. Meanwhile, while they're getting Dragon, I knew they were getting Dragon, and so I was like, let's push top. And sure enough, they got Dragon while we pushed up. And so Nunu is going to do a useful again. He's going to walk in. Oh, no, not yet. But MF just wasted her all to try to clear the wave, which is a terrible plan. Look at that. Look at that buff spin. It's spinning, spinning, spinning so fast. Lux has double, double buff. Double blue. All the way across the sky. So here goes Nunu. Nope. Here, there goes Nunu. There comes Nunu. So now we're going to tower dive the people that have Baron again, because why not? And so, naturally, we tower dive them and we won. And so, yeah, that's game. That's uh, how you win by losing. We did nothing nothing whatsoever good in this game. We made no good calls whatsoever. And we won. Yeah, that was some impressive jungling by the Shaco. But nothing beats being Nunu. Oh, we're going half speed now. Derp. Yeah, nothing beats good old-fashioned being a Nunu. And that is a lesson to you guys. Always lose your jungle. Never get dragon. Never get baron. And for the love of all that is good, go crit Caitlyn. Because it's the most overpowered thing in the game right now. Thank you for watching.